These last two years filled with pandemic job losses and other changes have led to a delicate dance between some landlords and their tenants. A Romeoville woman reached out to us after her renter stopped paying. She asked the city of Chicago for help, but they sent her money mm. to the wrong person. Now we are trying to uncover why the city says that's her problem. It's been a major toll on me. If you've been a landlord, you may identify with Babette Finger's stress. I mean, I have documentation here. It has been constant since she took control of her father's West Lawn home. He owned that house since 1957. Her dad, Richard, passed away in August of last year, and Finger says the tenant took advantage. The tenant decided that since Mr. Richard had passed on, that he no longer had to pay his rent. And that continued, she says, for months through the end of the year, leaving her to pinch pennies. The electric bill, the gas bill, the property taxes, um, everything in that house I had to pay for. And I have my own house to pay for, so I'm paying double bills. Finger's attorney recommended she apply for Chicago's Emergency Rental Assistance Program to make up some of that money. It requires both renters and landlords apply, so she and the tenant did, and it paid off. I have documentation showing congratulations. I have been pr approved. A total of $6,300 covering nine months of rent, said to be coming by check to Fingers Home. I got a letter. From but months Indiana. passed and it didn't arrive, so she reached out to the city's Department of Housing. In an email from a program director, Finger learned her tenant received the check. It's a lot of money. With his name on it. They wrote, it's unfortunate the tenant cashed the emergency rental assistance program check and did not pay his owed rent. Translation, the deadbeat tenant got nearly $6,300 of taxpayer money scot-free, and the city won't help. I just don't understand how they could send him my check after he didn't pay his bills for all those months. It's just, it's unbelievable. The Department of Housing went on to say it's unable to send another check for rent assistance, suggesting Finger follow up with a lawyer for options to recoup her money. They made a mistake, and now they expect me to pay for it. It's, it's not right. Fingers at a loss. She's since sold her father's home, where she says the tenant's still living. But because of this mix-up, the stress caused due to this property still has not stopped. I can't believe that they can't make their wrong right. So after our interview, we had a lot of questions for the city's Department of Housing. We asked their press office how it was that the renter's name got on that check that was meant for his finger. Was it a computer glitch or maybe just a conscious decision? And either way, why is it that that department is unable to send her another check? It has been almost a week since I first asked for comment. The Department of Housing still has not responded. Any idea whether this has happened to someone else? You have to wonder, right? Because if it's one, you, you'd assume it might be more. But that's another question that we've asked and we are waiting for the Department of Housing to respond. I'll continue to do that and, and we'll have an update, uh, hopefully, that we can bring to you soon. All right. Thanks, Marie.